Hello everybody and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we've got another video of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So today we've got only got one system to do because the user has only ever posted one to my knowledge. So yeah we'll be getting to that shortly but before we begin guys I want to say a massive massive thank you as always because the subscriber count is still going up crazily fast. So just wow. It's literally I think we're almost halfway to yeah yeah we are we're over halfway to 6200 subs now so just a massive massive thanks um to that because that is absolutely crazy so damn the, the, the hundreds are going up pretty quick now so yeah just a massive massive thank you as always there but anyways um also as well i'll mention as well a lot of people have been asking um things about how do i send my objects and stuff in like that so the best way is to join my discord server a link to that's in the description it is in every single video so if you want to send in a system of yours but um or one of your own systems for this then make sure to do my uh, join my discord and you can send me a message either on the server itself or you can send it in a private message which is what actually the guy today um did so um yeah if you want to um, send your own system in make sure to um, do it on there or just tell me in the comments to check it out on the workshop because I can obviously search up the workshop and find it so if you want to do it that way that works as well but yeah I just want to clear that up because a lot of people do um, ask about um, how do I send a system in and stuff like that so yeah I just thought I'd clean that up but yeah anyways let's get into this so yeah definitely make sure to join the discord <laughs> but anyways so we are checking out uh, one system today from the user blue so yeah just blu um and his system is called the zaz star system so we're going to go ahead and search that up right now and see what we have got right so it's the zaz there we go zaz star system so let's see what we got in here ratio oh look at these Created by unknown. Oh, that's very spooky. Uh, this system has two to three gas giants, four hatable planets, a dwarf planet, and three hot planets. All right, cool. So we've got quite a nice, like, um, sort of looks based off the solar system with the way it looks. That's pretty nice. I do like systems based off the solar system, so that's good. So we literally have the the sun pretty much here. That's all of the sun the sun stats. So yeah, that literally is a sun. Um, we'll take that off. All right. So let's just get straight into it. So first planet, we have a hot, hot, hot Mercury. Um, like planet here so yeah not really any atmosphere on it by the looks of it yeah no atmosphere it's just so close to the star that it doesn't need an atmosphere to be hotter than venus so yeah there it is there let's check the stats so it reflects all the light it receives how's it at 600 degrees that's strange i'm guessing that will cool down surely 600 degrees and it reflects all the light how does that work can anyone tell me that is this a glitch i've not seen this before how is it at 600 degrees if so if I did that, so that puts it to 500. That I'm guessing it's a little bugged. That is kind of weird. But as you saw there, well, if I just keep doing that, does it just make it colder? 400. That's strange. That is very very peculiar. How is it? How is it not cooling down at one albedo? 100% albedo. So that means it reflects 100% of the light it receives. Meaning it shouldn't even. It should be at minus 270. So. That's very strange. Is that a glitch? Let me know. Ooh, what we got here? Ooh, I like this. So this is a blue and black coloured theme. Ooh, I'm liking that. So let's see what we got here. Um, okay, pretty much a Venus-sized object here. Uh, temperature is 108. Okay, so this is this is more of a, mer a blue sort of Mercury-like planet, but a little bigger. So just a just a hot rock, mainly. Um, so there it is there. Composition. 70, 79% on the, the Earth similarity there. I like that. I do like that. That blue and black is a very nice colour theme. I've not seen any object with blue and black like that before. I like that. Right, so there is that. Uh, next up, we've got um, Slagest. And this has a moon as well. No atmosphere on it, though. That's really um, peculiar. Um, so 64 degrees here, so it's quite warm. So there it is there. The stats, 80% with Earth similarity. I wonder if we can put that in atmosphere and get the life stat up. And then it also has a moon called Har Harbors. I hope I'm saying that's right. So it's like a dark sort of emerald forest green here. 67 degrees, so pretty hot um, in temperature as well. We'll slow it down so we can actually see, um, actually be able to see it properly. So there it is there next to the planet. So let's actually um, look up on the planet as well, get a nice nighttime view. So I know some people do like to get a surface view. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's have a little look around. So there we go. Pretty cool view of the star there. Obviously the asteroids. Milky Way, and then our moon is there. So there you go. It's just a lot bigger than our moon is in the night sky. So there it is, right there. So looking good. Now with this object, I'm going to try. I'm going to put an atmosphere 180 ATM on here. I'm going to see if this would actually fix it up a bit. So it looks like there may have been an ATM here, but it disappeared. So that's it with an atmosphere. And those clouds are so cool. So let's check the stats now. 
immediately gives it 30% life. So that, yeah, just adding atmosphere really does give it a boost. But yeah, this one's also at 100% reflecting light. How is it not cold? I think that, I think there's something bugged in here. Maybe it was made in an older version of the game or something. Maybe that's just my prediction because I've not seen objects like this before where it's got one albedo, but it's still warm. That should be completely freezing. That is very, very weird. I'm assuming that's glitched. That is... I, I, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm assuming that is glitched. But, um, yeah, there it is, nonetheless. So, we'll move on. So, next up, we have got uh, labels. So, we've got Zleaf next. Oh, no, this one has um, an atmosphere on it. And this one actually um, also 1% of, or 100%, sorry, is getting reflected there. And this one's tilted on its side as well. Um, so, there it is. All right, let's check these stats. 97 and 59, not bad. Um, then there's about, about an earth in size there. So, there we go. Also with a moon as well. Oh, is this a colonized moon? I know it's just a blue atmosphere there. Um, yeah, there it is. So blue atmosphere. There's a bit of blue underneath the atmosphere as well on the mountains there. A bit of light blue. So there we go. 211 degrees. How far are we from the star right now? Let's check here. Uh, no, I want motion. We are about... Okay, so 359 days. So it's slightly closer than what the Earth is to the sun. Because obviously 364 days. So oh, it's the, the orbit is increasing though. So it's about this is about the distance of Earth. Then if it's doing it about 364 days. So that's about 1 ATM away right there. So that's our Earth-like um, object in here. Right, next up we have got another Earth-like um, by the looks of it. So this takes one year or 1.1 1. 1. 1 years to go around the star. So there it is there. Also tilted on its side. It's more of a desert-looking object. More of a... Yes, yeah, sandy desert sort of area. 47 degrees. It's pretty warm here as well. Stats are there. So 88, but only 0 0.6. This must have a serious, yeah, very high ATM at 65 ATM there. But still, very peculiar how it reflects all the light it receives. That, that doesn't make sense how it's like that. Yeah, let me know if you've seen this before. Uh, next up, we've got Emerald. Oh, modded object. Green. Oh, yes. Look at that. Definitely the best object we've seen there by a long shot. You guys know I do like green atmospheres. So there it is there. So Emerald 372038. So 1 ATM, 49 degrees. Also reflects all the light. That is really weird. Um, so the stats there, 92 and 74. So pretty high on this guy. Looking good. The green looks amazing as always. So that is that. Yeah, that literally is an Earth. One Earth and it's almost the same size. So there is that. Right, so that's Emerald. Next up we've got blue. So this is a blue object here. So we've got blue surface, looking good. 14 degrees. Okay, so this could be a little more human friendly. So 91 and 30 on there. It's got a magnetic field as well. Check that out. Not everyone always adds magnetic fields. I'm not sure if the previous ones did. Let's quickly go ahead and look. Um, oh, this one had a little little something on it. Uh, what about the emerald? Uh, emerald? Where's emerald at? There it is. Did emerald, did emerald have one? So let's see. No, no, not the well, emerald didn't have one. Okay, so there is that. Um, the blue one there. Where where'd it go? Blue one. I want that one. There we go. So did it have a moon as well? No, no, no moon here. But yeah, there it is. There, so a nice blue surface on it with city lights as well. There's an extra addition there. Looking good. So that's definitely a colonized planet out there. All right. So blue. Next object is this one here. So this is Marfis. I've been saying that right so here goes so just a random spawn gas giant as we can see there got plenty of different color bands on it as well also an eclipse with the moon there so let's see what the moon is all about looks like a sedna sort of like yeah it looks like a sedna just a bigger sedna by the looks of it there so there it is a very dark red with patches of white on it so that's like a sedna like moon there rightio so moving on where are we heading next okay next up we are going to the ice one i clicked on earlier so here it is here didn't this have an atmosphere before that's weird. I'm sure that had an atmosphere when I clicked on it. So minus 76, and this absorbs all the light it receives. That's very strange the way these planets are set up. So yeah, pretty far as well. What's the temperature on this guy? Might yeah, minus 74 or 76 now. So there's that. Did this have an atmosphere? I'm sure it had an atmosphere when I clicked on it. I'm not. I'm not sure about that, but yeah, there it is. There. So looking good. Nice frozen ice world. I do like to include those in my own systems as well. Uh, next up, we've got Mises here. So here we go. So, so another frozen world with a quite large moon on it, or around it as well, with a cyan surface of ice, so a very frozen ice sort of area with all of these objects. Minus 110 degrees. Yes, these guys are all pretty cold. So there are those two. Right, so next up we are moving to Dwarf over here. Just, I'm guessing this is Dwarf Planet. 
yeah, only, it's only a little larger than Pluto by the looks of it. So there it is there. So very, um, it reminds me of the sort of Pluto sort of colour scheme with like a dark brown and then some lighter cream sort of colour on it as well. So yeah, it reminds me of a Pluto. So there it is that. No moon around that. There we go. Right, so where are we heading next? Next up we're going to Endraz over here. Endraz, come on. There we go. Oh, nice like dark pink magenta sort of colour. That's looking good. So this is about an earth in size as well. So yeah, I like that magenta with the cream colour. That's looking good. So there is that. Very nice. So there we go. Rightio. And this system just proves that you don't have to mod objects to make cool systems. That is a fact. The only one in here is green. The green one. But still, there's a lot of cool, unique objects in here. And I like the way the orbits are set out as well. All right. Anyways, um, here we've got a frozen purple surfaced ice world here around a gas giant. With a big ring around. Look how big the ring is. Look how far away the ring is from the planet as well. So we've just got a moon just outside the ring here. So that is that. It looks like the moon may almost be affecting the rings. That moon must affect them at some point. Let's, let's keep this up. I want to see if it. I reckon that would eject a random rock every so often into space. So that must have an effect on the rings. It is pretty close. And obviously the moon has got 1.69 moons. So it's not exactly the smallest moon. So. Yeah, that, that probably would have an effect on those rings at some point. So anyways, uh, looks like we're at the last planet now. So this is Raises here. And it's a bright, uh, more of an ice giant-like object here. So there we go. Not bad for a random spawn for like an ice giant sort of like object. So there it is there. Looking very nice. It's 4.11 Earths. About the size of a little larger than Uranus. So there it is there. Obviously no life leak stats on that, but yeah, it's an ice giant. You've got the water and the hydrogen mostly. So yeah, there is that. And it also has a moon here. So um, Ixia. And this one's also going with a blue and black sort of color scheme there as well. So very nice. All right, cool. So I think that is it for the whole system. So overall, we have 2,900 objects. That's what's due to the rings. So t about 21 objects which are simulated. So yeah, obviously the non-simulated ones are the asteroids. Um, in the rings there so yeah anyways there we go so that is it for this system guys so yeah overall i think it's a nice little system got a very um nice range of different objects in here obviously i like the way um i like the sort of solar system sort of theme to it definitely reminds me of our solar system slightly with obviously the belt there and just the way it's set out i do like systems like our own one i have to say in these videos but yeah pretty cool definitely like that green one and that, that purple one as well, the magenta sort of coloured one. So let's go and have a look here. Favourite gas giant is definitely the last one we saw, which is this one. Favourite rocky would definitely be the green. And yeah, the, the emerald and endraz. These are my top two. Oh, and, and this one as well, I guess my top three. Spot, that blue and black's really cool. The magenta and cream, and then the all green. They're my top three rocky planets in here. So yeah, there we go. So I want to say, um, obviously, a thanks to the creator of this system. So blue, so just, yeah, BLU not blue so yeah blue um yeah massive thanks to him i don't think i've got a link to your youtube channel so if you want to let yourself be known in the comments saying oh this is my system then go ahead um i can put a link to your um channel in the description if you so wish so obviously i don't have one so yeah that is that and yeah that's about everything guys so let me know what did you think of this system down below so i'm pretty sure the creator of this system blue would be interested to hear your thoughts on his work here and yeah overall i think it's a nice little system so yeah we only have one though obviously because he um, only sent one in but um yeah overall really really cool i like the objects in here so yeah well done on that very nice so yeah and i'll see you remember if you guys want to send in your own systems make sure to join my discord or send me a comment um obviously um yeah telling me um, to go on the workshop and tell me the name of your system so i can go ahead and find it and then i can get that arranged for an episode at some point as well and yeah that's about everything guys so yeah make sure you all have a great day and i'll see you in the next video goodbye